Okay, today we're doing a little bit of an experiment with uh, cutout greeting cards. And we're doing snowflakes cut out along the side. And it's supposed to be a five by seven card, so it's gonna be 10 by seven. No, five, seven by 14 is gonna be the size of the card because that gets cut in half or folded in half. And Cameron is going to draw a light line so that when I go to crease it, it's in the dead center of it every time. I'm gonna draw a line in the center so you know where that is. Right. And you can fold it. Yes. Just explaining. Oh, okay. So what settings are you using to cut and what are you using to make the line? To cut, I'm using a speed of 80 millimeters a second and 4% power. And for the line, I'm using 300 millimeters a second and 2% power. Okay. And just for the record, we haven't figured out the ringing on it yet the little bit of jittering that we're having the instability with the gantry correct right so we'll see how this turns out because the snowflakes are you know kind of intricate so ready whenever you are So I'm thinking I would put a contrasting piece of paper behind this cutout so that, you know, it, it shows better. And obviously you could pick any design you wanted just about. I mean, it has to not be something that would fall through the paper. That's the one trick. I keep picking out designs and the camera will say, you're not gonna like that because all you're gonna get is the outside perimeter. It's hard to remember. But those are looking pretty good. I can feel the um, I can feel the laser vibrating though. It doesn't usually do that. Like the whole machine is moving. Alright, so that's the cut. You guys can see that line there in the middle, which will be very helpful for the fold. So, you know, normal people just order greeting cards and send them, but I guess I'm anything but normal. Okay, well, the reason we experiment is because not everything works. So one of the designs was just too fragile, too delicate. You can see these big holes in the snowflakes. So but I put this uh, craft paper behind here so you could see the contrast, uh, but you could put anything behind there if you want to. But what a fun design. And the scoring line that he lasered on there actually makes it so that you don't even need like a big folding machine or anything like that or a tool because it's already, it just folds. And then there are these little delicate snowflakes that you end up with. So I don't know if, how I could use those, but they sure are pretty. So that's one experiment. 